It's Magic Charlie Brown is the 1981 Charlie Brown cartoon directed by Phil Roman, written by Charles M. Schultz. And I have to say, of all of the Charlie Brown cartoons I've watched, I've seen maybe eight now, give or take. I think this one's my least favourite. It just feels like the least well-developed and generally not as cute or as quirky. One of the main things I love about Charlie Brown, one of the things that makes it so appealing, is that there are children behaving like adults or talking like adults, and I feel like that's not as much the case here. Yes, there are magic tricks involving swords and things, which is pretty adult, but generally speaking, I feel like the vocabulary and the dialogue just wasn't as sweet and fun as it usually is. Not that it was terrible, but comparatively it wasn't as strong. But it starts off with various different magical performances that are fairly interesting to watch. I did love the one with Peppermint Patty. I thought that was wonderfully animated, wonderfully done, really thoroughly enjoyed that. And then Snoopy kind of accidentally turns Charlie Brown invisible. And to be honest, I didn't find that that interesting. I found Charlie Brown's attitude to it to be quite fun and the way he kind of responded and spoke about it, I liked that. The animation that unfolded with Charlie Brown being invisible, it was okay. I think they could have done something a bit more interesting with it. I'm not sure what, so I realise that's kind of an unhelpful opinion. But it just wasn't that fascinating. There's just something about this episode, that, or this short, that just isn't really on the same level as, you know, it's Christmas time again and Christmas Charlie Brown and um, The Great Pumpkin and Valentine's Day. They're all brilliantly written with fabulous dialogue and, and great on-screen animation. The animation here is fine. As I said, the, the sequence with Peppermint Patty during the magic show, I actually genuinely really enjoyed. But it's just lacking something. Not that I wouldn't recommend it. I didn't not like it. But I was expecting it to be of the same quality as the others, and it just didn't quite hit that mark. I'd still recommend it's Magic Charlie Brown. I'm pleased I've seen it. But for me... It's a bit of a weak link.